Welcome to another video walkthrough of how to use CalAg permits. This video will cover how to submit your pesticide use report files from third-party software. After logging in, head to the home page. In the center of your screen, you should see a box named CEDTS, aka CEDITS. Let's click on the link Upload Preformatted CEDITS Data. In this window, we need to tell CalAg Permits where the PUR file is located on your computer. To do this, simply click the Browse button. A window should pop up allowing you to navigate through the file directory. Just like finding any file on your computer, continue through the file tree until you've located the file you want to send to CalAg Permits. Everyone saves their files in different locations. Friday Farm saves theirs on the desktop in the PURs folder. Let's navigate to it. Select the file and click Open. You should see the file path listed in the box. CalAg Permits now knows where to look for the file you want to upload. Let's do it. Press Send. You should receive a pop-up window with a message indicating the status of your submission. Do you want to see which files you've submitted? How about whether they went through successfully? The History function allows you to view the status of the files you've already submitted. Simply use the drop-down menu to select the length of time you would like to review and click the History button. In the subsequent screen, you'll see a list of files submitted within the specified time frame. Their submission status is listed to the right of the file name. Additionally, this page lists the number of reports and the number of chemicals each report contained. If you receive an error message when you submit your file, don't panic. There's usually a simple issue and fix. Common errors that cause file rejection include required data fields that have been left blank, incorrect data such as bad EPA registration numbers, a section township range mismatch, and incorrect site identification numbers. Remember, the data such as section township range and site identification numbers must match what is on your operator ID or restricted materials permit. Make sure your database matches the grower ID information and your file will likely breeze right through error free. For further assistance, contact your local Ag Commissioner. Thanks for joining us for another walkthrough of CalAg permits. We hope you find these videos helpful.